Ja. And that is that. And right along the bottom, let's just put a nice strong dark colour. Some brown, some of that burnt sienna. And let's just dab it down there with that fan brush, okay? Okay, let's leave that. Uh, let's put in some of our little fence posts, yes? I have another small brush here, a nice little pointy brush. And I'm going to go with some burnt umber and some turpentine in this one as well. Let's take a little burnt sienna. So we've a nice dark browny colour there. Now we have a very dark one here, don't we? Like that. Okay. And let's go back in there again. Do you have my dog out there going crazy? Barking at barking at nothing. She's out there just standing barking at nothing. Huh? She's crazy, I can tell you that now. Crazy. Okay, let's put a couple in here. And they almost disappear into those bushes as well, don't they? Okay, so let's put another one here. It's nice and wet, okay? And let's put another one here where we can see it in between. All right. And I know there are some thicker ones and some small and some kind of little thinner ones. So maybe I could do some of the thinner ones as well. Okay, like this. Now, I'm going to just, with some burnt sienna, I think, just burnt sienna, put an impression of the, 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 the kind of the barbed wire just in between. like that so we have that and then I'm, I'm actually going to make one or two of them slightly bigger so I'm gonna make this one a bit more prominent okay because I want to show this one a bit more so a bit thicker and a bit taller as well and I'm gonna do the same with this one here I just want them to be kind of seen a bit more, that's all. And I put some highlights on those. There's no highlights in the photograph, but I'm going to put some highlights on them, okay? Some burnt sienna and some Naples yellow. And that's a nice warm colour to start. Let's go across the top and down one side. Clean your brush between each brush stroke because you're picking up the black as you go, you see? like that clean your brush again and on this side it'll be the right hand side then some burnt or some naples yellow and white and let's just give that a nice highlight like that Okay, follow. Now, I must darken this one again, just in the middle here, okay? I overdid. I overdid that with the light. So let me just darken it down again. Okay. Alrighty, how are we looking? Okay. Pretty good. Let's get our footpath in. And I'm thinking now the footpath, I'm thinking let's just keep it simple, yes? I'll take a very rough kind of a brush. And I'm just going to get some burnt umber, some straight burnt umber 
and I might get a touch of black just a small touch of black you just try that now okay let's go with that nice and dark okay and some more dumber a little tiny touch of turpentine a tiny tiny little touch okay and let's get some burnt sienna as well and as it comes over I'm going to start adding Naples yellow into this with burnt sienna okay so now it's going to start getting warmer see just a little So I always tend to put on darker colours first, you see, and then I kind of work in my lights into that. So for example, now, I have my basis for the footpath done, and it's quite nice, so okay, it's lovely, but let's add a touch of light, let's go with some burnt sienna and Naples yellow, and let's just drag that colour across here and there, look, and it'll disappear into the darker colour. So I'm going to go darker just at the bottom here, all right? So just a little bit of black on the brush. Like so, just down in this corner here. Then I'm going to clean the brush and I'm going to bring in some nice light here. Now I want to put some nice highlights across here so that I can show off my shadows. You see, I'm thinking ahead. So let's take some cadmium yellow burnt sienna and naples yellow with a little white okay thrown into the mix and let's go right across the top of this There we go, and let's just kind of soften it gently together. Just gently here and there. And what I might even do is get some Naples yellow with white and just come right over here and put that bright colour on. And I might soften it then just here very gently. So in other words, I'll kind of soften it Kind of into the distance almost you see there now so let me just stand back for a moment now and see what we have here that's a nice color now isn't this nice warm kind of a foot passy kind of a color next i need to put on my shadows from these and this is where the painting just comes to life okay i'm going to use my small stubby brush or any small brush you like and I'm just going to put on a dark colour. Now, I don't want to go black. I'm going to go with brown. Um, you could probably even go with just brown on its own. Okay, burnt umber. That's a nice warm colour. And we're going to have the shadows wherever your sun is in the sky. Now, let me zoom back very, very slightly. Or can, yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Wherever the sun is, follow that angle down. And that's the direction of your shadow. So let's say this one is going to come boom like that okay clean your brush this one over here is going to come down this way so it's coming at this angle like that then we need to do this one this one will pretty much be the same angle as it is above it so albeit a little skinnier okay just paint on its own no thinners this one will come at a slight angle like that this one is almost right underneath it so that will come now there won't be shadows on some of these okay only the big ones this one will come at an angle like that right over now I'll add a bit of black to that one okay And next, I'll get my blender brush and I'll soften them very gently, look, hardly touching them. Off, out of the painting, see? Yeah. 
Okay. Isn't that lovely? And we will have some from the bushes as well. Don't forget about the bushes. So I will take a little dark colour. Let's take some dark brown, some burnt umber perhaps. And let's just imagine, say this one here even. Let's just imagine it's casting a little shadow. Like that, okay? See? We could even add a touch of black into it. And let's imagine there's one or two over here casting some nice dark shadows. So you see, it's just, it's all about just the impression, that's all. It's only an impression we're giving, nothing else. And then I just go along maybe and kind of soften those up in. So they don't just kind of stop. See? Soften everything together. Now, the next job is put some rocks in this. Let's put some nice little rocks here and there, yes? I get my little pointy brush. And I'm just going to take some black, I think. Probably safer just to go with black, right, just for now. And let's go along and put some nice little suggestions of pebbles and rocks, all that kind of thing. You know, just a bit here and there. Even through the shadow as well, see? It's just little dabs, very random little dabs with the brush, that's all. And then a couple of highlights. So let's mix a nice highlight colour. Let's go with some burnt sienna and Naples yellow, I think. Wouldn't that be a nice colour? So this now against the dark will really stand out, see? Just a little hint here and there. And again, the sun is coming from this direction, so the highlights will be on the right hand side of those little rocks. See what I mean? Now clean your brush and go back into it again. Fresh colour. And also, it does help just to kind of soften the ends, sort of in to the footpath. So it's not just a black blob sitting on your canvas. You can soften it left and right into the canvas look. And it just kind of sits the rock down or the pebble. It sits it down on the floor. Do you understand? You always do this with a rock or a pebble or anything like that. Just run the brush underneath it very lightly and it kind of helps it sit down on the floor. You see what I mean? Isn't that lovely? Now let's zoom back slightly because we have a nice big tree to do, don't we? Now we have our grass as well. Let's do our grass. Again, that's very simply done. Let's just fill it in with a very dark colour first, okay? So let's get some black. Let's get a touch of yellow. That makes it kind of a greeny, doesn't it? But then I'm going to add a touch of burnt umber to it. So again, I find the hint of green, the very small hint of green, does give it that natural kind of um, a natural tone about it. Let me just get some more paint up here now. I'm very spare with the paint, lots of paint. Black, brown, a little yellow. And let me just follow that land just around here like that now the next job we could theoretically just finish this now with the fan brush okay we could i'll show you how how handy the fan brush is it's so handy i'm just going to take first look some black right now a tiny bit of turpentine some black i'm just going to flick along here dab 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 and kind of go from the corner out Soften it out, okay? So that's our dark grass. Theoretically, now, let's say this is it, done. Okay? 
Now all we need is highlights. Now you can't see that. I know you can't see that on camera, but it's there. I can see the dark bits of grass. Let's now just put some nice highlights on that. Let's go with some white and a little yellow. And let's pick up some of that green look. So we now have kind of a bright, muddy kind of a colour. Touch of yellow. Now let's see what happens. So I'm just using this now as the highlight. So this is where the sun is kind of catching some of those grasses just here and there, see? How's that? See how easy that was? Just like that. And we could even add more highlights if you want. Let's go more. Okay. Let's put some bright grass in here and there. Done. And perhaps even up here, look. Now, there we go. And how was that? Isn't that lovely? I'm very, very happy with that now, I have to say. So you can see how the shadows really bring that to life. They just really give it that pop, don't they? And if you wanted to really, I mean, you could even add to that. You could, for instance, let's just take some black on its own and darken just the base of those there, okay? That would really kind of show them off, so to speak. Now we have some bushes around here, don't we? We have a nice little one that comes in here on this side. So let's try that. We could try our fan brush for that even. And let's get some more of that dark color. So some black. Again, I don't want to spoil it too much, so I'm just going to go easy with this. Some brown, some black, some yellow. And let's just try some of this. Just a little here and there, okay? See? I'm not too fussy. I don't want to spoil the entire painting. Give it a little flick. There and there, that's all. Nice simple little flick. And um, we could even add a little touch of burnt umber into that. And then, give it a quick clean, and let's add a little highlight as well. So again, some Naples yellow, some white, and some cadmium yellow. And we could add just a little Flick of highlight here and there. Where's catching that sun? See? Keeping it simple. Now I'm not sure what to do about this area up here. I think just a big. Let me get some black paint out here. I think just a nice big tree kind of coming out. I don't want to cover the sun. I don't want to spoil the sun to be quite honest. So I'm thinking, um, even just with the fan brush, some black, okay, and lots of brown, lots of burnt sienna. I want to complement the colour, so I don't want to go crazy with um, lots of dark colour. So let's just go like this with our fan brush. It's a more kind of traditional technique, but it's just for this tutorial. Um, it's just to get good coverage, that's all. See, and come through some of those sun rays, then that pushes them right back, doesn't it? And up on top then, perhaps even, we could go around the sun slightly, see? 
So like a little umbrella. Now if we stop it there, I will then switch brushes. I'll take a smaller brush and I will add some little leaves with the smaller brush. Okay, so some burnt umber and some black water down. We could just add a couple of small leaves, little detailed work, just kind of hanging down, see? Isn't that nice? So you see, it's all about just an impression for me. So I know there are artists there you could paint every single brush stroke, every single leaf individually, and that's brilliant if you like to do that kind of work, absolutely. But I like to give just a very good impression, just a nice soft impression, and then add little details afterwards. You see, just to give you little details of, to give you the suggestions of what it is. So you can see now little leaves kind of hanging down, like a canopy, hanging down over the sun. And we could even possibly even do some highlights on these leaves as well. And we could even do a couple of little branches, look. Just a couple of squiggly little branches. Here and there. Understand? Does that make sense? So we're pretty much finished, I think. All we have to do is put a little bird up in the sky. Now, I just want to sort out around here. I want to put one or two highlights in just there. So I'll take some cyan and Naples yellow, I think. And I just want a couple of highlights there because that sun will be catching some of those leaves, will it not? It'll be catching just maybe the outside ones here and there. Isn't that lovely? A nice simple scene. Now, I think all I need to do is put a little bird, my little trademark bird, up in the sky up there. Yes? Let's put Mr. Bird in. And there we go. And that, my friends, is it. Okay, I do have a frame. Let me zoom right back here now and show you what it looks like with the frame and also i'm giving a painting away would you believe it to start my new channel okay first of all a frame and i'm just going to sell this now put it up on my facebook page and try and sell this if anybody out there would like it just throw me an email and i'm sure we can sort something out and there we are look at that isn't that lovely? I'm very, very happy with that. Now that turned out lovely, didn't it? Let me zoom in now and show you exactly what we did. Okay? So, we have a nice little sun up there in the sky. And you can see how I softened everything down into the trees. And lots of lovely mist. Isn't that wonderful? And see now how... Those shadows just bring everything to life, don't they? It just comes to life. It's fantastic. The shadow is very important in a painting, and especially a dark. Keep your darks really dark, okay? Now, I have a painting to give away. Let me just first move the camera around. So, let me focus in on myself here now just for a moment. I do apologise. And I have... A painting to give away 
and it's going to be, I have it here, it's what I did, I have it a while, I think somebody out there might like it, um, let me know, but I'm going to pick out a name for this, this is a painting I did, I can't even see it, yeah, this is a painting I did um, on a tutorial a while back, and it's a wonderful painting, a lovely snow scene, look, okay, and I want to give this away. So I'm now going to draw a name from a bag that I have here. Now it's 16 by 20. It's a good painting. It's a big painting. And I'm going to ship it to the winner. Now, I have all the names from all my patrons and all my subscribers so far in here. Okay? A big blue bag full of little pieces of paper with lots of names. All my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. Because I kept a list from a previous draw that I had. So, look. There are just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in here. Okay? Now, let me go in here and have a good rummage around and pick out a name. Okay? Right, I'm not going to look. And I'm going to just pick one. Okay? Here we go. Who's this? Ah, Alison Knox. Alison, if you're watching this video, let me. Can you get that there? There. Alison Knox. If you're watching this, Alison, congratulations, you've won this painting. And I need you to contact me. Um, prove it's you. I might have you in an email, I'm not sure. Um, I'll check, I'll check my emails, and if you're in the emails, from, I think I might have bought brushes off me or something in the past, but I'll double check. And if you're there, I'll email you. If not, and you're watching this, congratulations, you have just won that lovely painting. I'll pack it up lovely, and I'll write a little letter with it, and I'll ship it to wherever you're living. So just send me your name and your address, and congratulations. Big round of applause for Alison. Alison Knox, well done. Okay, that's it for this week, and my opening video for the new series. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do email me, stephenconway12 at gmail.com. I will try to get, as, get to as many um, questions as I can. I'm just so busy trying to upload all my videos and that kind of stuff. I'm really busy, but I will try and get through as many as I can, okay? I apologize if I don't get to you specifically, um, but I will kind of come back to them at a later stage. So keep painting, keep having fun. Thank you all so, so, so much for all the lovely support that you've given me these past couple of weeks. I couldn't have done it without you, okay? So please keep painting and keep showing me what you're doing. And um, God bless you all. I love every one of you. You're like family to me. Thank you so much. And I will be back next week with another lovely fresh tutorial, okay? So in the meantime, take care and I will see you again.